Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabita fillah in a hadith which shows us the importance of not giving up hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to realize that He subhanahu wa ta'ala is ar-Rahman ar-Rahim He is the most beneficent and the most merciful and at the same time we have to not abuse that by thinking that we can do all kinds of sins and receive the grace, mercy, and favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we won't be punished and that we won't be held, of, held to account for our sins. But rather, it's very important for us to realize and understand the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hopefully this Hadith Al-Qudsi will be of benefit for us and it is in Sahih Muslim in the Kitab at in the Book of Repentance. قَالَ حَدَثَنِي أو حَدَثَنَا قُتَيْبَ إِبْنْ سَعِيدْ قَالَ حَدَثَنَا الْمُغِيرَةِ يَعْنِي حِزَامِي عَنْ عَبِي زِنَادْ إِبْنْ عَنْ أَعْرَجْ عن أبي هريرة أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال لما خلق الله خلق كتب في كتابه فهو عنده فوق العرش إن رحمتي تغلب غضبي In this hadith of Abi Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that when Allah created the creation. He wrote in his book. And verily it is with him above the throne. Verily my mercy supersedes my wrath. And in another narration عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الله عز وجل سبقت رحمتي غضبي. So in another narration on Abi Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه as well that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that Allah the Almighty said my mercy precedes my anger and in another narration an abi huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam lama qada allah khalq kataba fi kitabihi ala nafsihi fa huwa mawdu'un 'indahu in rahmati taghlibu ghadibi and these are all hadith in sahih muslim uh, in the last narration there's also a narration of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when Allah decreed the creation, or created the creation, kataba fi kitabihi ala nafsi, he wrote in his book about himself. Verily, and for who are and and it is with him, meaning with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the rahmati taghlibu ghadibi. Verily, my mercy supersedes my wrath, or uh, takes, um, you know, is more than my wrath. In this hadith, or these ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it shows, and it's an affirmation that. Uh, of the ghadbillah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has wrath, that he subhanahu wa ta'ala has anger subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner that suits his majesty. So this is one of the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that he possesses wrath, that he becomes angry, tabarak wa ta'ala, and this is in a manner which suits his majesty subhanahu wa ta'ala. Likewise in this hadith, this hadith is also an affirmation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy, his rahmah. And that he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the most merciful. And his mercy 
is in accordance uh, with his, uh, it is one of his divine sifat and his mercy as we know from the Verses in the Quran, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Laysa kamithli shayun huwa sami'un basir. That verily there's nothing which is like him, and he is a sami' al basir. And he is the all seeing, uh, all hearing, and all seeing. Letting us know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses these divine characteristics, but are these characteristics which are hearing and seeing? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the all hearing and all seeing, or that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mercy, there's none, nothing like him. That means the creation's hearing and seeing and mercy is not like his. Because in the creation we have mercy. The mother is merciful to her children. The uh, uh, you, you, we have sight and hearing for those who are blessed with sight and sound and, and, and or in hearing, hearing sound. That we have characteristics, but our characteristics are not like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's. His subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is perfect. Kamil. His sifat are kamil. Laysa kamithlihi shay. And with that being the case, also in this hadith, we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as he said, ketaba fi nafsihi ala, uh, ketaba fi kitabi ala nafsihi, that he wrote. Uh, in a book on himself. And this book is what? Aloh al Mahfuv. And so this affirms for us Aloh al Mahfuv. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrote uh, in, in it. Subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner that seeks his, that, that in a manner which suits his majesty, Tabaraka wa ta'ala. Uh, so what we learn from this hadith of the Prophet. Uh, this hadith al Qudsi, we learn that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful and that his mercy overcomes and supersedes his wrath. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mercy and wrath. And with that being the case, the fact as is mentioned in the hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy supersedes his wrath, his anger, that gives the believer hope. And so that should increase our iman and increase our hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that we also have to know from other nusuls, from other texts in the Quran and in the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that... We also have to do deeds. So it's not sufficient, as some of the people understand, to just say, well, Allah is the most merciful. Huwa ghafur rahim huwa rahman rahim You know, he is the most merciful, the most beneficent. He is the all-forgiving. So I'm just going to do all the sins in the world and depend upon his mercy. Or I'm just going to leave off doing deeds at all and depend upon his mercy. No. That is a misunderstanding that we have to correct. We have to understand that the correct position is the position of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, which comes from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ لِقَى رَبِّي فَلِيَعْمَلْ أَمَلًا صَالِحًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Kaf, so whoever uh, desires to meet his Lord, then do uh, righteous deeds. So if you want uh, to, to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you desire that and you hope for that, then you have to do righteous deeds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَالَّذِينَ هَاجِرُوا وَجَاهِدُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أُولَٰئِكَ يَرْجُونَ رَحْمَةَ اللَّهِ uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, he subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, Verily those who believe and those who make the hijrah, you know, they immigrate for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wajahidu fi sabilillah, and they make jihad for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, verily those 
ulaika yarjun rahmatullah they are those who hope for the mercy of Allah so what did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala couple with hoping for his mercy deeds that you do righteous deeds that you do deeds that are pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it lets us know ayyu ayyu muhabba that it's imperative for the mu'min to strive to do righteous deeds and hope for the mercy of Allah and that the Muslim should not indulge in sins and just think about the mercy of Allah, but rather reflect upon his punishment, that also there is punishment, and that we need in order to have the, the most correct understanding and balance to do righteous deeds to the best of our ability, even if we have shortcomings and sins, and hope for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabi Muhammad.